Good day everyone and welcome back to the channel. This is going to be uh, two bits of uh, retrospectives or look at and we're going to look at the Fire Slayer news and we're going to look at the potential box set that's been laid of Battlefleet Gothic Heresy. So let's begin. So first up is the Fire Slayers. Now, Fire Slayers were an interesting direction, taking the Dwarf Slayer archetype into a new direction for Age of Sigmar. They were very inspired by the old Slayer cult list in, I believe it was called Storm of Chaos, a booklet that was out around, uh, it was either late 90s or early 2000s. This was Archeon's March South, where it, com it basically came together in a big battle at Mindenheim with Archeon basically having a fight with Valton who was the reincarnation or avatar of Sigma and, um, and then he and then all of a sudden Grimgore turned up and there was a three-way fight uh, Archeon got strangled his horse got stabbed and um, then everything got reset after that campaign yare, yare does it. We always thought alien life would come from the stars. But it came from deep beneath the Pacific. What the hell is going on? The first kaiju made land in San Francisco. The second attack hit Manila. And then the third one hit Cabo. And then we learned this was not going to stop. In order to fight monsters, we created mo We set that clock! Then again, that was largely ignored for the next couple of editions, so it's what you make of it, yeah, in, to be honest. But, but the most important part of the Slayer Court Army list was it gave you new ways to play Slayers. It included the Long Drong Slayer Pirates, which were awesome, and included the Goblin Hewer, a machine made by Malachi Malekson, which basically threw axes at people. He was a Dwarf Engineer Slayer, which also added a new dynamic to play a Slayer army, so they had some very short shooting range with the Slayer Pirates, and they had some interesting long range with the Goblin Hewer as well. Which is a callback to a very old war machine for Dwarves, by the way. Right. Then we came into Age of Sigma and we had the Flyer Slayers and while this might be a bit waffly it is important for the build up that I'm going to make. Slayers have basically three units, uh, a monster that, that can be ridden by a couple of characters and a few other characters such as like a banner bearer, uh, two kind of analogies to a giant slayer and um, a demon slayer maybe and then we have a few other bits and pieces but recently we got a new character with the death mask wearing guy. Slayer, um, fire slayers obviously, need a bit more than that in my opinion. The fire pikes do give them some range, the throwing axes do give them some range, but there's no artillery, there's load of characters, there's three units. Some of them are alright, so fire pikes are about 18 inch range, they're okay, but you are suffering from all the problems with the slayer cult army list. There's no doom seekers which were cool and basically enabled you to have figures that you bought in packs of two or three and they were basically engines of destruction that were just like the dwarf version of um, fanatics basically and um, they did a lot of damage to enemy units and they could shrug off wounds and stuff like that no no nothing to those we don't have anything like those in age of sigma which is a shame because they were really useful and um, no artillery we've got a mid-range shooting unit which is alright, and we've got, um, and then you can have guys with sort of like notched shields, which are melee shields, and one axis or double axis for your slayer units, basically. Uh, the axes also have like a weird flail thingy on the end, but it's rather, it, just call them two-handed axes with a bit on the end, but they're really just two-handed axes. Right, so what are they missing? What are fire slayer missing? They're missing a long-range unit, so an artillery unit. They are missing a uh, a unit that can get into combat quickly, such as a cavalry unit. And while people might say they've got these Magmadon inventions or Magmadon incursions or incarnations, 
that the Grim Priest of Grimgear can use. That really doesn't fix the problem without buying a special spell to fix the problem. You should have a unit which can do the same thing without you, you know, getting a spell or an incarnation or inc an incantation or whatever it's called. That's my rant about first lights over. Really interesting idea, badly implemented. They need fixing and they've needed fixing for two editions and we're on the third edition now. Will they be fixed? What if we get more than just one character with a death mask? Maybe. But I don't see any hope for them because I'm sure that they're just going to be folded into a, a comprehensive dwarf book or Durudin book. That's what I'm hearing the rumours about and that's what's been going around for a long time now. That they're just going to be folded into one book. Going from that, we're coming to the very important news, Battlefleet Gothic Heresy, which just dropped. Battlefleet Gothic was a game where you played spaceships and you had spaceship forts. There's been a couple of video games which in my opinion were very miss. Uh, they didn't, I didn't enjoy them. So, I know a lot of people did, but I just didn't like them. What the fuck? Will Battlefleet Gothic Heresy recapture the original Battlefleet Gothic? Maybe? We'll have to see. But if they're just going to have Chaos and Imperial Fleets and nothing else, then no, no it's not. We're not going to have Eldar, we're not going to have Tau. It's set at a certain period of time, so Tau don't even exist at this point in time. You could have Orcs, you could have Eldar. You could have maybe one of the other Interrex or something like that with the Rogue Splinter Fleet or something that survived um, the Grand Crusade. But... Let's face it, they're just going to have the two fleets. They're just going to have Imperial and Chaos, and that's it. And it's just basically Chaos. Or it's basically just going to be uh, Imperial Imperial. Maybe they'll do some demon weapons for a couple of the ships. But they probably won't. They probably won't. Uh, the box art that all we can see is okay. It's okay. It reminds me of the original designs on the ships. You've got the two different types. So the Chaos are more like weird triangular, like squished down ships and the the imperial ships are more like lengthways horizontally horizontal like squished in uh, but on two sides so they're like thinny thinner but well, you can see by the image anyway but but games workshop has been thumbing the old world now or, or showing off bits and pieces for the old world for a good few years no closer to re no closer to uh, release I think they should have set it later, because although the Horus Heresy fleet battles would be interesting, it needs to be seen whether this is just a one-off box like um, Dreadfleet box, or if it's going to be something that's going to be supported like Titanicus or whatever. But we don't know, we don't know. Uh, also Man of War should come back before that in my opinion, but there we go. That's just me being uh, someone who's talking about a few bits and pieces that have arrived over the Christmas holiday. There we go, that's it. So thank you all for your time. Do take care of yourselves. That's two bits of information in, in one video. I thought about making two separate videos, but I thought I'd just include it in one because that'll be easier. So thank you all for your time. Do take care of yourselves. And bye-bye.